Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to today's biology tutorial, Bio 111. Uh, today we'll continue with tutorial sheet uh, 5, which is on proteins. So last week uh, you did question 1 to 6 of tutorial sheet, oh sorry, question 1 to 4 of tutorial sheet uh, 5, which is on proteins with Ms. Chiposa. So I'm taking it up from question 4 uh, up to the end of the tutorial sheet. So, uh, okay, just a minute. So, question four was looking at the structure, uh, the, stru the, the different levels of structures of proteins. Uh, yes, so we know that the different levels of organization of structure of proteins are four. So we have the primary structure, primary structure, then we have the secondary, uh, and the tertiary, tertiary, and finally the quaternary. Okay. So those are the different levels of uh, organization of structures of proteins. So um, let me just read out the question so that we know what we are talking about. So the question, the question reads, um, explain what it's meant by primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structure of proteins and relate every structural level to their functions. Yes, so that's the question. So last week, you discussed the primary and the secondary organizational level of proteins and uh, their functions. So today, we'll start from the tertiary level and the quaternary level. OK, so we'll go straight into the tertiary level. So what is meant by? Tertiary structure of proteins. Tertiary structure of proteins. Of proteins. So if you recall from last week's tutorial, uh, you discuss that the primary structure refers to the sequence of amino acids in a particular polypeptide. So just the unique sequence of amino acids in that particular polypeptide is referred to as the primary structure. Then you went on to look at the secondary um, level of structure, which um, here we see interaction between the uh, backbones of the polypeptide. So we, we saw um, di different types, two, two different arrangements. So we saw the alpha helix, which has a certain arrangement. Uh, it looks like a spring or a cord. The alpha helix. Then uh, you also looked at the beta pleated sheet. So the beta pleated sheet arrangement. So the beta pleated sheet arrangement. So here, what causes, what causes this organizational level of, uh, uh, of proteins is basically interaction between the backbone or the polypeptide backbone. So there's no interaction between the side chains of the specific polypeptide. So, and the only interactions here which forms the the beta pleated sheets and the alpha helix, okay, so it's better represented like this, is simply the hydrogen bonds between, so in the beta pleated sheet we have, it can be two, two parallel, two parallel amino acids, uh, two amino acids that are running parallel, they form hydrogen bonds, 
between ends, the specific point at which hydrogen bonds are formed. I wonder uh, if you remember the general formula of an amino acid is this. So we have our alpha carbon, which is connected to our side chain, and uh, a hydrogen atom, and we have our carbonium group. Carbonium group. Thank you. 